I'm Adam with Full Droop TV, a television show about building off-road trucks. Now, one of the most essential tools you can have in your shop is a tube bender like this new Cobra model from Pro Tools. Now, what sets the Cobra apart from its competition is that it's capable of doing a full 180 degree bend with just one pin set. Now, in the off-road world, strength is always our focus. And the material that we're using to build these trucks is getting thicker. Now the Cobra is capable of bending up to 250 wall tubing. Now I'm going to bring Austin on to demonstrate the ease and speed of the Cobra. The Cobra from Pro Tools is an extremely versatile machine. The way it's shipped out is exactly how you see it here, with the whole frame structure being supported by four casters. So you can literally roll it to any corner of your shop and use it because it doesn't need to be bolted to the floor. It uses an economical 110 volt hydraulic unit that provides pressure to the single phase ram. The Cobra is made in the USA. When you take that quality with this single phase hydraulic ram, ballistic steel hardware and pin sets, that is what allows this machine to bend up to 250 wall tubing with ease. And when I say with ease, take a look at this controller. It doesn't get any easier than this. You have a button for in, a button for out, and a lock switch for safety that you push in if you need to, and when you need to release it, it turns, pops right back out. For this build, we're using a die that was designed to use a two inch outside diameter tube, a seven inch radius, with a 240 degree cut to allow for required spring back at 180 degrees of bend. Now that we've achieved 90 degrees with our bend, we're going to get into the single pin set that we talked about earlier. All I have to do is bring the ram in and the pin will set itself and then we can achieve our 180 degree bend. Once the stop and degree indicator reaches your desired angle, your bend is complete. Simply push the in button to retract the ram back to its home position and remove the tube from the machine. Thank you, Austin. Now, one thing you'll notice with using the Cobra is it draws the material smoothly through the die, and so the fit and finish is far superior than what you would get with a traditional bender. With that, with each ratcheting motion of a traditional bender, you're going to see marks throughout your material. What if you already have a manual bender from Pro Tools and you want to upgrade to the new Cobra, but you already have a complete library of dies that you used to use with the other bender? Well, the good news is you don't have to buy a brand new dedicated set of dies just to work with the Cobra. Pro Tools has made these little plugs that's a retrofit kit to convert your old dies to the Cobra dies. Now all they do is they drop into the appropriate holes here, just like this, and it allows the drive pin to slide over the tops of them and fall into the drive hole. Now even if you have dies from another manufacturer, they might work with the Cobra. All you have to do is visit pro-tools.com for more information. Now, we're going to be using this bender in our upcoming season of Full Droop TV, and if you'd like more information about our show, visit FullDroopTV.com. Vroom, vroom.